Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com and I want to do a little bit of follow up on the tarantula printer. So one of the things is, is as far as all the kit printers I've done, this is this has definitely been the greatest kit printer I've put together. Very, very happy with it. Made a couple modifications, especially for stability, and that's what I kind of want to talk about in this episode. Uh, one of the things that I've done is I've printed out these 3D printed pieces. These are printed out in ABS. There, there's actually several of them, and this is a replacement for the, the motor mount, so it actually goes up here in this corner. Um, you know, but, you know, I started to put these on, and I just wasn't happy with, with the look. They're nice parts, well-designed. Can't complain about that, but I just, in the end, didn't like the looks. But I did have a substantial rigidity problem with the gantry. Uh, so how, how did I deal with this? Well, this is kind of what I wanted to show you guys. So in the top corner, to kind of keep the industrial look of it, what I've done is I've actually taken two corner brackets and put them together on each side. This one might be a little bit more difficult to see, but you can see it over here on this one. So, uh, which, which is really tightened this up. Now, what I've done is, and we'll go around the back in a minute, is I've done a similar thing down there, mounting the, the 20 by 20 single rail to the 20, 20 by 40 double rail down there. Now, this has added a lot of rigidity, um, you know, because th this, this flex you're seeing is actually the table moving uh, rather than just the, the, the gantry. So I've been very pleased with that. So I've also moved one of the, the corners that was up here down here because once I've added these, this is just unbelievably stiff. So let's uh, go to the back and let's take a look at how I, I connected the, um, the 20 by 20 to the 20 by 40 down here. So now here we are at the back of the printer. Now I'll do some overlays probably up in this corner or maybe that corner or both. Uh, of the, some stills I took as I was doing this. So I took these, these same um, brackets, <clears throat> 90 degree brackets, and turned it on its side and mounted uh, utilizing a cleat to the 20 by 20 vertical stanchion. And then I also tapped the 20 by 40 uh, stanchion and bolted it in there. Now one of the things to kind of be aware of um, the holes on the 20 by 40 were larger, so I had to use a number number 12 bolt there, while I used a number 10 bolt in the um, the vertical stanchion for up top. So kind of keep that in mind. They're, they I, I don't know, mine were two different sizes, which really doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. So this provides between the two of them provides a ton of rigidity because this just simply is not going to move. You know, so the, the the printer the printer moves a little bit, but this this really has almost no give in it. Um, so a lot of that is just this the table moving. So I've been actually very happy with it um, over top of its stock configuration because even the stock configuration I was not having a lot of problems. Uh, however, I, you know, it it was something that was going to be coming. Is, is I did taller prints on this and so I wanted to really uh, do something. Um, also I just kind of want to point out is, is uh, I had put up on I believe Thingiverse this uh, cable race here for this because what happens is this uh, drops in here and this is simply a guide because one of the problems I was having is this cable would get looped around the motor uh, sort of like this and I'm not sure you can kind of see this I guess I gotta pan down a little bit more so it would get caught around the motor like this. So now it just sits in here and slides back and forth. I could kind of maybe do a cable chain or something like that, but this, this actually is easy and works out fantastic. Just use some double-sided tape to adhere it to the motor. So that worked out pretty good. Um, the other thing that I've done is uh, attached utilizing the uh, E3M adhesive. Um, a PEIE bed to the surface of the uh, tarantula now instead of utilizing this love P PEI beds uh, can't recommend them enough uh, great stuff so uh, been utilizing them on all my printers and matter of fact if we kind of just pan over here to the Wanhao you can see that um, I've got a print going on on top of a PEIE bed and it's again working out fantastically I mean, I can't tell you the number of prints I've got on this bed. It just uh, probably ranging pretty easily close to a thousand. This printer over here has just been 
a huge workhorse. It's a little bit crappy in a way, it's temperature problems and that, but uh, you know, outside of that, once you kind of work around it, this thing has just been a workhorse of, of all my five or six 3D printers. So anyways, but this is more about the, the tarantula. So I want to come back here and uh, just kind of wrap this up. So, so in short, um, utilizing some of these just corner brackets, I was able to greatly improve the rigidity and also kind of keep the industrial look of this because uh, that's what I was really going for is I like the looks of it um, it's great performing now with this even with this stock hot end so I'm very happy with it we're gonna do a couple other firmware mods to it to, to do some adjustments you'll see that in an upcoming video but in general extremely happy with it so if you're looking for a printer kit this is definitely it I'll have the links below if you're interested so hey uh, this helped you out you got a tarantula even if you don't now, the, the piece is, I should mention, even if you don't have a tarantula, but you have another um, maker rail based system, these, these hacks still work out because, again, this I thought, really, this surprised me in how rigid this piece up here. I'm pointing to something you can't see. That was really intelligent. Um, this piece right here really uh, improved the rigidity far beyond what I expected. Now, one of the things I am going to build is some outriggers I should mention uh, probably before closing because one of the pieces to make this all square because what I did when I squared this up I took a machinist square in all four corners so this this gantry is perfectly square but one of the things because the length of um, these two uprights don't match they're like a millimeter or two off it doesn't sit level on the table so you can kind of see this this wobble right here that's because it's not sitting level on the table even though it's it's square because the the, the pieces that come down um, aren't level at the bottom so what I am going to do is is design something that uh, provides some lift off the side and then has feet on it to level it out on the table a little bit so I don't get this wobble it's really not a big issue but it's not where it should be so I am going to uh, address that, but that's probably the only other thing on my list outside of just, you know, making this thing start printing, you know, every day, kind of like the Wan How. So, anyways, um, if you found it interesting, give it a thumbs up. Always appreciate those thumbs up. It helps me on the channel. Also, subscribe. Don't forget our swag shop up in the corner. And, hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.